I have seen many very effective healers where I don't have an explanation in my long life. You also have seen it. But if you're working with scars, this is the most profound I've seen. Can you tell us a little bit of your story, Sharon? Well, I figured out how to do this work. It's a sort of uh, the same principles as structural integration, and Robert and I both share that as a background. And in structural integration, you go sort of head on into the most resistance, and that's what the scar work does, but it does it very, very lightly, very light touch work. That's what I saw when I did the three-day workshop with you. I was totally impressed about the effects that we could see that she was uh, achieving, uh, working with uh, really severe scars, yeah. with some light uh, mechanical stimulation. So you didn't inject biochemical no. chemicals, so it was a mechanical hand movement, but also the warmth of your hands, maybe that has an effect. Yeah. I think we, we had 12 different, different you, so, so, you, so you teach them very well. I learned a lot from the way how you do that. And it, it would be interesting for me to see which technique uh, achieves what in terms of shearing motion. Hydration, now we have a good tool. Yeah. So because some of the effect of what you do could be like a sponge squeezing. Possible. Yeah, so you squeeze some water out and you get fresh water back into it. And you wouldn't get that by a technique like that. You wouldn't get it like this, but you may get it with something like this. So that is something now we have the tools to study that. <laughs> of course, I can make up theories and theories that are built up on the latest insights about how fibroblasts, the connective tissue cells, can respond to mechanical stimulation. And I look very forward to support you in your endeavor to get some research method, not only to prove how great your work is, which we can see, and we wouldn't need science for that, but also to understand how it works, so you can continue fiddling around and maybe developing additional techniques. That's my hope, is that if we figure out what are the, some of the mechanisms, we yeah. can do it better. Yeah. 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 So that's really my hope for it. So I would love to do some research. Mm -hmm. We're just at the start, so yeah. we've got to start at the beginning. So we, uh, we are also doing this to engage people into a uh, we're, crowdfunding. We're hoping yeah. people will support this, that people yeah. who know about the work will support us in, in going forward with some research. So if, if you know some people who have uh, scar tissue problems from surgeries, from injuries they had, from burn scars usually, uh, that would be one way how they can participate in finding a solution in the next couple of years. So in the work around scars that has a lot to do with fascia, this is one of the most promising new developments that I know. So we need, we need different things. It does show up on sonogram mm -hmm. and also MRIs. We've been doing it in Poland, mm -hmm. so we have good results there. Mm -hmm. And we'll get more and more of those. Mm -hmm. But we really need a, a good study. We need yeah. a good study done because I don't really know what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. Well, that's would love to know. Yeah, but uh, uh, wanting to know is a very good condition. And because in scars, this movement, I learned that from you, is, it tells you more about the health of the tissue than vertical pressure. Yeah. So perhaps we can measure some biochemistry as well. Yeah, but that's more demanding. Yeah, yeah that is more demanding, but maybe down the, down the road yeah. in the future. Yeah. If we get a successful trial and we mm -hmm. start seeing that, yes, it's demonstrably Mm -hmm. makes a big difference for people. Mm -hmm. That so, would be very interesting. So then you get ASIC approval to take uh, hollow needles into the tissue, extract the little material and an analyze them in a laboratory for various cytokines. And the most interesting at this time is pro-inflammatory and anti-inflammatory cytokines. Uh -huh. And that can be done, but it requires uh, a real academic background. Excellent. Excellent. Well, thank you both so much. Thank you, Robert, for your time as well.